Well, I don't have to tell you it's Friday, but I do want to tell you that means new shows are headed to the big screen and your favorite streaming service as well. But are any of them worth watching for you? Sean Hobbs lets us know from this week's director's chair. Thanks. So what would it be like if a funny guy played John Wick in the movie Nobody? It's new in theaters and turns Better Call Saul's Bob Odenkirk into a man of action. There's a long dormant piece of me that so very badly wants out. I'm going to mess you up. It even comes from the writer of John Wick. Odenkirk is a seemingly average guy, a nobody who explodes into violence going to war with the Russian mob. Reviews are actually really good. It co-stars Connie Nielsen and the great Christopher Lloyd. An exorcist doesn't hide from evil. He runs toward it. Then The Exorcist meets Training Day in the new movie The Seventh Day. Guy Pierce is an exorcist who takes a young rookie priest under his wing to battle demons. It's in select theaters, also at home on demand. My girls are not the enemy. The German, aren't they? The more new movies on demand, there's Six Minutes to Midnight, a spy thriller set at a girls' school for Nazi daughters with Eddie Izzard and Judy Dench. Also The Vault, with Freddie Highmore, part of a team of thieves out to break into the Bank of Spain. The Smiths broke up. What? what? They're shoplifters of the world about a group of 80s teens reeling from the breakup of the band The Smiths with Joe Manganiello. The horror movie The Toll about a woman and a rideshare driver who break down and encounter something scary in the woods. What the hell's wrong with you? He's with my girlfriend. That's what the hell's wrong with me. And the comedy senior moment with William Shatner looking great at 90, fighting to get his driver's license back and to woo Gene Smart. It co-stars his Star Trek III villain, Christopher Lloyd. There he is again. My daughter is of the opinion that I cannot manage on my own. Meanwhile, the Oscar-nominated Anthony Hopkins with dementia drama, The Father, that just hit premium VOD at home while it's still in theaters. And Pixar's Soul just hit disc and digital everywhere. Also, Redbox. All right, let's go streaming. That's a stolen car! Maybe we can get somebody to help us fix it. Where Eric Andre and Lil Rel Howery hit the road pulling hidden camera pranks in the movie Bad Trip. That's new to Netflix. So is A Week Away, a new teen romance musical set at church summer camp with Bailey Madison. The Irregulars, a series about a crew of street kids who help solve crimes for Sherlock Holmes. And the documentary Seaspiracy, about the dark side of the fishing industry. I had an abusive life. There's no other way to tell the story. Then later this weekend, HBO premieres Tina, their new documentary about music legend Tina Turner. Your power's got to be due any day now, son. Amazon Prime has some new adult animation. Invincible, about the son of a superhero. I'm guessing you didn't see the sign. I hate hockey, and I don't like kids. You run an ice rink. Weird, huh? And finally, the Mighty Ducks and Emilio Estevez are back. Disney Plus premieres their new series, The Mighty Ducks Game Changers. This time it's Lauren Graham of Gilmore Girls coaching a team of youth hockey underdogs against the Ducks. Yeah, the Ducks are the bad guys now. Have a great weekend. That's the latest from the director's chair. Well, there have been quite a few of those Mighty Ducks movies. All right, stay with us. We're coming right back.